In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from the God to a city of Galilee, named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man who was whose name was Joseph, the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, "Greetings, O favored one. The Lord is with you." But she was greatly troubled at the saying, and tried to discern what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, "Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your room and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end." And Mary said to the angel, "How, how will this be, since I am a virgin?" And the angel answered her, "The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. Hold your relative Elizabeth in her old age." Age has also conceived. This is the sixth month with her who is called barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. And Mary said, "Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word." And the angel departed from her. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration when Quirinius was the governor of Syria, and all went to be registered, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem. Because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Ma with Mary his the troll who ha who was with child. And while they were there, the time came to give her birth. To give birth, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling cloths, laid and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. And in the same region there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, "Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you: you will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger." And suddenly there is it with the angel. A multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, "Glory to God, to God in, in the, the highest, highest, and on earth peace among those with whom He is pleased." When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, "Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us." And th they. And went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made no the same that has. Been told them concerning this child, and all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured up all these things, pondering them in her heart.
And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told to them. And the wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, and behold, the star they, that they had seen when it rose went before them until it came to its rest over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. And going into the house, they saw a child with Mary and his mother. They fell down and worshipped him. They then, opening their treasures, they offered him gifts, gold and frankincense myrrh. And myrrh. of the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus, of how he came to live upon among us and be the perfect example of love and kindness. Without Jesus coming to earth in a manger, we would not have the promise of eternal life. 